soul family we're going to pick up here on um a star is reborn and whether or not the divine feminine wants the divine masculine back or not we stopped at the six of wands engagement ring and um the addiction so your person could be very guarded and blocked they could be standing their ground in a situation they are very hurt about this whole entire um series your divine counterpart male or female they could have been heartbroken multiple times in their lives they could have had a lot of failed relationships as well holy spirit tell me about the ten of cups oh wait a minute let's go back over here and get on the other cards my bad y'all tell me about the uh ten of cups and the divine masculine some of you could have been dealing with a water sign a pisces cancer scorpio this person may have failed to see that the uh karmic partner that they were with were uh mirroring their own wounds their own trauma to them this person could have been in this relationship for trauma bonding and uh spirit definitely wanted them to learn and to heal but um this person um maybe some of you stop looking at this person's photos or maybe they're not looking at somebody's photos maybe they don't want to see the truth of themselves in a situation um they may not want to make new memories right about now your divine um masculine could be in a lot of pain male or female and they might be uh getting rid of pictures of uh karmic partners that they've had multiple keys on a ring so your person could have had multiple options decisions they could have had um a lot of unconventional sex with uh people i'm hearing tantric sex um string along one night stands your uh person was creative very uh creative sexually i'm hearing s um smbdm that type bullshit tell me about the ten of cups and the photograph and the mirror in the reverse why is uh the divine masculine not seeing his wounding or her wounding and trauma because they still have yet to go through a death and a rebirth and a transformation you could be dealing with a water sign specifically for some of you it could be a scorpio and i'm gonna point this out to you some of y'all need to pay attention to your north and south node i've got scorpio and taurus here and somebody here could be a leo rising so you could be dealing with a divine masculine male or female that could be a uh taurus um and Taurus and Scorpio and um, Western astrology or Vedic astrology, uh, north nodes are transforming, are transferring. So somebody is going into their karmic um, death throes is what I want to say. So you could have been dealing with a Scorpio or a water sign that is going through a lot of burdens with a fire sign. An Aries, Leo, Sagittarius doesn't have to be. Spirit, tell me about the knight of cups why is this knight of cups here for the divine masculine male or female who are they trying to offer love to now they need to focus on self-healing self-worth and uh do their shadow work it's time for them to heal spirit is saying and learn to have some self-appreciation they could have been stabbed in the back for offering love to this karmic partner this karmic partner could have did to them what they did to you divine femmes male or female this person looked like they may have had some uh keys on a ring too tell me why all of this is here for the divine masculine collective spirit the self-indulgence and stabbed in the back because it seems like they're not doing the work but they damn sure watching y'all they stalking the shit out of you spy spy alert stalker alert and this person could be very childish with their communication and their behavior gemini libra aquarius this person wants to get out of a bad situation and move to calmer waters strong air energy here tell me about the eight of cups and walking away could be a water sign that's definitely or there's just somebody here that's hella emotional and that's totally understandable when you get your heart hurt you know what it feels like this is exactly what a, a lot of our divine masculines um did to us male or female and we had to do this walk away and it was very emotional it was very painful so your divine masculine male or female they're going through something right now that is extremely painful for them um it could almost feel like a stingray uh, well not a stingray uh what do you call those a jellyfish very fucking painful 
if you ever get stung by one from what I'm hearing. So some of you, your divine counterparts or you or uh, they in the karmic could live by a body of water or ocean. Maybe one of them has been bitten or stung by, I mean, stung by a jellyfish for some of you. But they have to walk away from somebody that they offered love to. Cupid's arrow. And this person, they may have had abundance with this person. They could have, have uh, felt like they were in a good place at that time and manifested. They may have even taken this uh, love interest on a trip. They could have went on a trip recently too. Tell me about the Cupid's arrow and the Eight of Cups. So your divine masculine, male or female, they could be on another trip with a new lover. I ain't see that one coming. <laughs> wow. They don't quit, boy. They be on the move. And this person is a narcissist. This person is not using their intuition. They're not thinking clearly. They're very cold. This person cannot be trusted. When you got a king of swords in the reverse, that is one mean mofo, male or female. Damn it, man. And they could have been involved with somebody that they worked with. This person or your divine masculine, take it how it resonates, could have been very unscrupulous with they did this with somebody that they worked with. Somebody that they may have collaborated with. Could have been a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. They could have been in a third party situation. Very much so an open marriage or open relationship on this shit here. Yeah, something that they manifested and brought in only to get their heart broken and they need to go in something and heal where they offered love possibly to somebody else and they turned their back on you, Divine Femmes. Queen of Pentacles, male or female, King of Pentacles. Somebody that was definitely focused on their finances. You could have been someone from their past, um, an ex-husband, an ex-wife, boyfriend, girlfriend. Y'all may have children together or you could be a past life soulmate. And this person was only focused on, oh, the grass is greener on the other side. Let me go chase it. Now they're getting the truth and they're seeing you as the star rising after they left you abandoned. You had to go through your karma and healing. Judgment. For a third party situation, some of them put you into a third party situation blindly. You didn't even know that this person was married or in another relationship. This person was reckless. And deceptive. Woo, debauchery. And they betrayed. Damn. Depraved. They betrayed the shit out of you, divine feminines. Some of y'all, male and female. And they gave this offer and love to somebody else. Now they have to retreat and go within. And they thought this was their actual soulmate. Somebody now that they have to end it with to become single all over again. After a lot of chaos and conflict and arguing behind secrets that weren't known about. A lot of hidden shit here. And now they're trying to temper, balance, and heal and restore themselves. They could even be trying to restore this relationship. There's your divine masculine. Fate and destiny awaits. They need to use their intuition about this because this is self-sabotage all day, every day. They may have even gotten somebody else pregnant. There's a revelation here. They could have did it while they were drunk or high. And now this person is feeling some type of hurt. And they could be holding back because they're already in another commitment. They need to gain courage and strength with this family relationship. There are money ties here. Strong, strong money ties. Your person could have been in business with this person that they left you for. They made this choice and now they are paying for it dearly. Look at this. They got to walk away. They're gaining truth and clarity about this whether they want to or not. And they got to cut it out because divine is saying that it is time for you to gain introspection and see something from a higher perspective when you were operating out of your pride and ego. You got to end this with this doggone karmic fire sign, possibly Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, somebody that they could have worked with. Something blew up in their face where work was concerned. They made a choice between you and another person. And this person was hella toxic and it was all done out of fear. Of being rejected now they suppress their emotions and their feelings they're blocked off and so is their finances for right now and they got to move forward from this marriage and this relationship where there was an illusion 
where they had multiple people that they could sleep with and they only gave everybody little they gave them you know crumbs now they're stuck and trapped in their head in this marriage commitment and there is so much fear and anxiety this person is stressed the hell out all because they may have gotten somebody else pregnant because they were in their player ways juggling multiple people and always giving them nothing but crumbs now this person could be at a distance from you and they could want to communicate with you and it could be this king of cups pisces cancer scorpio wow but spirit is saying to remain positive one message spirit from the angel oracles answer whatever they ask spirit the answer is a resounding yes it is time they need to step up and assert themselves but they're scared they're fearful yeah they want reconciliation too and they want you to give this relationship a chance but they don't fear that you will give me a message from the archangel spirit clairvoyance Archangel Raziel, I am helping your spiritual sight to awaken fully so you can clearly see heavenly love. Some of you, your person is just as you. Some of you are um, teachers and counselors. And they have clear audience as well. Spirit, give me a message here from the Romance Angels for the Divine Masculine reading. You deserve love. You are lovable. Some of them, like I said, have a new love. A new person has stirred their romantic feelings. But Kuan Yin is saying, let it go. That's another lesson they're about to learn if they don't, if they walk away. And they may be trying to offer engagement someplace else. For others of them, they're going to come back as a new person. And they're going to try to offer you love. Because this love, this relationship is supposed for some of you to ascend to a level of engagement. Marriage. Some of them have daddy issues. Osiris, father, husband, brother, son. So they need a lot of healing. They could have issues with males in their family, male and female divine masculines. And they're not listening to their ascended masters. It's in the reverse. That's how it came out. And they need to focus on balancing home and life. Balance career and home life. I'm sorry. Give me some more messages for the Divine Masculine Collective, Holy Spirit. Right now, it's time for them to get off their ass and start chopping wood and start to get some shit going. They need to get that fire burnt. They are so emotional about this whole situation that they're currently in. Some of you, your Divine uh, counterparts are still stuck in that relationship and they know it's time to go. Spirit is telling them it's time to go. 45 is 9, and 9 is a completion of a karmic cycle for them. Yeah, they're between worlds for some of them. And they know that a higher power is calling them, and it's calling them about this union, because 4 is union, 4 of wands. They're at the edge, they're at the precipice. 36 is 9, that's another cycle. Some of them could be seeing 9-9 nine, nine or 9-9-9. Nine, nine, nine. But they keep going round and round in this karmic cycle. They need to come out of it. 25 is 7. So they think they may be in a spiritual connect, connection with um, a, divine, a divine partner because of the strength of the karmic tie that's holding them there. But a change is on the wind for your divine masculine, male or female. And it could be in the form of a third party, uh, a third party situation. But this shit is like a never-ending story. So it's like they stop and they go right back through the cycle again. Like that never-ending, um, like that round and round. And here, if you can see this, my camera sucks. But 37 is a 10. So they could be seeing 111 because they have a new start. And it's going to bring in big happy changes. 26 is 8. And that's about movement. That could also be about finances. And to be fair, they need to learn to be fair in relationships. 11. 
38 is 11. So they could be seeing 11, 11. And they need to go the distance. Some of them, their uh, totem animal could be a cheetah. 47, 11. So they're definitely seeing 11, 11. Male or female. In this never-ending story, this is the journey. And they got a new life awaiting for them if they will leave it and move forward. <sighs> Your divine masculine, male or female, they could have a lot of regrets in this situation. But they need to realize, I know that I cannot change the past. No, you cannot. None of us can. But you can move forward and you can release it. You can release it, divine masculines, male or female. Yeah, there is love and purpose here. I commit to the practice of seeing good, the good in all things. So they know that you love them and they love you for those of you who still have love left for your divine counterpart. And I know what, what I am here to do. But you're not doing it, divine masculines, male or female. You're still holding on to blame. You could be blaming your divine counterpart for your own doing. Or you're blaming your kar karmic partner. Not taking accountability and responsibility for your own well-being, divine masculine. But change is coming to you, whether you're ready for it or not. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. That's a tower moment coming in. Any more messages, spirit? Yeah, they're in denial for some of them. I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with insight of awareness. There's the fear right there. I realize that I am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. That's where they need to get to. They still could be in a lot of grief, though. And they could be doubting this twin flame journey or union because they're still confused. I understand that losing sometimes is an opportunity to appreciate something. So they're going to have to learn through this grief and doubt. I release the need to know all the answers because they might be asking, why is all this happening to them? Your divine counterpart could, like I said, has been wounded many times in love, just like you have divine feminines, male or female. And they're going through a transformation. They had big pride and ego, and it's time for it to go, and they need to learn some patience too. They're hella impatient at times. Give me some messages here, Spirit, for the Divine Masculine Collective. What is the best message that they need at this time to help them? Knowledge. They need to get more knowledge about this, this journey. And there's a fortuitous event that's going to happen for your Divine Masculine. Male or female. They got some good things coming if they just would release. And they need to look up communication and learn how to communicate with people very clearly. They're extremely sensitive right now about this marriage, about this engagement, whatever they've been in with this person, because they were heavily committed and invested in this relationship. Give me some messages here, Spirit, from the Sacred Geometry of Relationships for the Divine Masculine Collective. What is the best message? Second chakra, just as I know, that's the seed of the addictions, sexual addictions especially. The energy of the sacral ch chakra helps us to navigate our lives through our emotions and supports our ability to enjoy the sensual world. They have been enjoying it too much. What else, Holy Spirit? Transformation is here. And it's an imbalance. The energy of transformation supports our ability to gracefully flow through the time of transition, allowing the old to make room for the new. It's time for that. Let go of the old and get into the new. And kindness. They need to show some level of kindness where they didn't have kindness in the past. And divine feminines, I'm going to ask you to show the level of kindness that spirit showed you when you were in your time of need. Don't be like your divine masculine was to you, male or female. I know that's a lot to ask, but this is not for me. This is a message from spirit. Kindness. The energy of kind kindness reminds us to be considerate and wise in our interaction with others and ourselves and to find the root of our love through our connection to source. Told you. Any more messages, spirit? Mr. 
Flipper or Miss Flipper. Forgiveness. I knew it was coming. The energy of forgiveness in 20 is about partnerships, too. The energy of forgiveness strengthens our capacity to let go of unwanted feelings and emotions. And I think this is universal for divine masculines and divine feminines. Because some of us are still holding on. Look at this shit. Are still holding on. The divine masculine is showing up in his own damn reading. 17 becomes 8. And 8 is about movement forward. The frequency of the divine masculine supports our active focus and strong side, facilitating our capacity to transform our dreams into form. So your divine masculine could be receiving dreams about going through the transformation and he or she is curious about the transformation. They may not have taken a hold of it yet because they could be still sensual, uh, sensitive about this. And there's a duality that they need to focus on healing. And they need to develop uh, the strength of honesty for some of them. And balance. There it is. Yeah. Balance. You can't be balanced in a third party situation. The frequency of balance supports our ability to find harmony with all aspects of our three dimensional and multi dimensional layers of reality past, present, and future. And to come out with grace in this whole entire situation. The frequency of grace supports our smooth ad adaptation to anticipation of life's current changes as we evolve towards a higher version of ourselves on this earthly plane, bridging the divine with the human essence. Okay, let's slide that to the side. And let's get some messages from... The Lover's Oracle, I believe this is what this is. Let me turn it this way. Holy Spirit, what messages do you have for the Divine Masculine? Or from the Divine Masculine to... Ooh, 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 uh, 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 uh. What messages, Holy Spirit, do you have from the Divine Masculine Collective to the Divine Feminines? works for me playfulness laughter is the best therapy have some fun together and remember love is the greatest healer so your divine masculine wants you to be more playful some of you may not have been very playful in the past some of them may have been too playful male or female and give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way know that you deserve to have and to be and have all the that your heart truly desires so they want you to know that you do deserve love, Divine Feminines, male or female. What else, Holy Spirit? Acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times, we must accept things as they are. There is no point trying to change what is, that is which is out of our or beyond our control. So your Divine Masculine wants you to know that this is not in your control. You need to allow the Divine to do the work with them. It is important right now for you to take a step back and spend some time alone instead of placing your focus on another. Now is the time to give to yourself because this is what the divine masculine, male or female, is doing at this present time. The past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. So they're wanting you to move forward, divine feminines, male or female, right now because they're presently still stuck in this situation. What crystals, Holy Spirit, can we give your for the Divine Masculine Collective? I'm, that's what I meant to say. What crystals would best suit to heal the Divine Masculine at this present time, male or female?
All right. For the Divine Masculine, male or female, I knew this one was going to come out. Rose Quartz. Do your own homework, family. Screenshot it if you like. That's for the heart. Rhodonite. For people that's wasting time. They hate their jobs. Sodalite. Virgos. So some of you could be dealing with Virgos that have Virgo in your chart. Some of you could be dealing with Aquarians. Somebody here um, is very intellectual. Or you can be an Aquarius, Divine Femmes, male or female. Doesn't matter. Some of you definitely could be. So this is the conclusion of the second half of the reading. Please like, comment, subscribe, share with your family, friends, and co-workers. You can find me on Instagram as Ascended Twin 144K. You can find me on Facebook, Nikita Kelly, Ascended Twin. And you can find me here on YouTube as Ascended Twin 144K. Please like, comment, subscribe, share with your family, friends, and co-workers. Keep in mind, family, the more you hit the like button and leave comments and things of that nature, the bigger the channel gets in order for me to catch your energy. If you want these readings to be more accurate and not so sporadic, all right? I love you, fam. Y'all stay blessed. Till the next time, peace.